Upon awakening, Gu Chanshan became the deceased ex-wife of the villain in the book, Chongxi. Even worse, in the book, the farmers were unable to grow food, and locusts crossed the land, causing the people to have no harvest. They sold children, ate human flesh, and mountain bandits plundered and killed. Shi Chanshan exclaimed in sadness. Fortunately, she has a system in hand, with the addition of koi fish. Step 1. Please the cunning and ruthless villain Big Shot, survive and kick him away. Step 2. Stock up grain, cultivate land, and make money. Get free soon. Step 3. Expose the true face of false loved ones. I am the true daughter of the general's mansion. But why is the big villain looking at her in such an inappropriate way? Chu Juinza. Taking advantage of me, pregnant with my child, where do you still want to go? Keywords of the novel. Escape from natural disasters, marry villains with the koi system without a pop dot up window, escape from natural disasters, marry villains with the koi system. Download the complete text, escape from natural disasters, marry villains with the koi system. Latest chapters for reading. Chapter 1. The villain wants to kill me. You are listening at novel full dot audio. Chapter 1. The villain wants to kill me. The afternoon sun was even hotter, and the dull air mixed with the creaking cicadas made people feel restless. A few people sat sporadically on the dry and cracked land in the distance, all sighing and looking sad. Lu took out a few ferns from the basket, shook the soil on top, and threw them into a large pot filled with water. She stirred them with a spoon a few times, and couldn't help but sigh. Juenza, is Chan Chan still awake? We apologize for her. If it weren't for our poor family, she wouldn't have thought about going to the mountain to exchange food with the bandits and falling to the bottom of the mountain and knocking her head. Chu Juanza's face was shrouded in secrecy as he looked at the girl lying in bed with a thin and pale complexion. No mother, Dr. Ding has come to see it and said if you don't wake up in the afternoon, then prepare for the aftermath. Upon hearing this, Lu sighed again. If it weren't for her insistence on buying this girl to congratulate her own son, Perhaps this girl would have gone to Beijing with her family to live a good life. It was she who caused her trouble. Gu Qianqian lay on the bedboard, stiff all over, listening to the man beside him casually saying that he wanted to prepare for her affairs, and his heart was filled with desire to die. She just stayed up late last night to read a novel, how could she still travel through time and even wear it into that bloody novel? If she guesses correctly, the man in front of her is the biggest villain in the book and she is the cannon fodder that was killed by the villain, unlucky enough to please her ex-wife. Now she is living in an era that is experiencing a once-dot-in-dot-a-dot-century insect disaster. Wherever those insects go, there is no grass growing, let alone food. Rumors are that it was caused by the emperor's incompetence in politics, and officials were corrupt and corrupt. God sent envoys to punish them, and coupled with the fact that most of the areas where the original owner and his companions lived suddenly cannot grow food, the rumors have become even more intense. In fact, in Gu Qianqian's view, this is a species invasion, and as for not being able to grow food, there must be scientific evidence. Poor people have no harvest, and bandits are rampant on the mountain. The major villain Chu Juanza has been weak and sickly since he was pregnant. His mother searched for folk remedies, but it was of no use. So he thought of a way to make him happy. Coincidentally, her family was going to the capital to seek refuge with some relatives, but they sold the original owner. The original owner was fine here, but she was not honest. She even thought of selling the sister of the big villain and using that money to go to the capital to find her mother. Now it's over, discovered by the big villain. The wolf in sheep's clothing tied the original owner to the mountain and allowed her to live and die on her own, which led to what happened later. Gu Qianqian dared not move at all, fearing that he would discover the truth and kill someone to silence him. The original owner is really a scammer, leaving such a big hole waiting for her to fill. In this period of famine and chaos, where the people are not satisfied, if they want to survive, 
they must be even more ruthless than others. Some even sell children and eat human flesh, which shows how angry the big villain is. Chu Juanza stood beside him, looking coldly at the person on the bed, his face expressionless, and his eyes gradually deepening. Gu Qianxian is in a battle between heaven and man, how should he wake up at the best time? At this moment, she felt the movement around her. The big villain is walking towards her. He wants to kill people and silence them. Gu Qianxian roared in his heart. As soon as he was aroused, cold sweat broke out all over his body, and his hands trembled slightly unconsciously. However, he still restrained his fear, afraid that those around him would notice. But she thought she was hiding well, but from Chu Juanza's perspective, the woman in front of her was tense all over, with a twisted face. Chu Juanza frowned. Is this woman who was not killed by the collision foolish? Gu Qianxian felt that the antagonist was getting closer and closer to him, so close that he could hear each other's breathing. The string in my mind snapped with a loud bang, and I felt that the big villain was truly the big villain. Killing someone can also cause psychological torture. It's better to break the jar and throw things. She already has innate conditions and knows a lot about what will happen in the future. It's better to negotiate with the big villain and admit her mistake. When she comes under the big villain's command, he won't have a reason to kill her. The more you think, the more you feel feasible. So Gu Qianxian suddenly opened his eyes and got up to bump into Chu Juanza, who had just lowered his head. Oh, my head. Gu Qianxian gritted his teeth and touched the area where he had been hit, looking at the person he had just hit with a hint of guilt. Chu Juanza originally wanted to check on Gu Qianxian's situation, but was inexplicably bumped into. He was angry in his heart and asked coldly, What are you trying to do? End of this chapter. Chapter 2 Reality gave me a slap. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 2 Reality gave me a slap. Gu Qianxian smiled awkwardly, unsure of what to say to ease the atmosphere, when Lu Shi outside heard the commotion. Did Qian Qian wake up? It's me, mother, I'm awake. Gu Qianxian hurriedly replied, ignoring the pressure in the eyes of the villain. Chu Juanza put down his hand rubbing his forehead and felt that the person in front of him was different from before, becoming somewhat strange. Upon entering the door, Lu saw Gu Qianxian, who was excited and blushing as she looked at her. She felt a great sense of pity in her heart. This child is really pitiful. Her biological parents left her behind and even went up the mountain alone because they had no food to eat. Gently touching Gu Qianxian's face, she said softly, Why is your face so red? Are you still uncomfortable? Do you have a headache? Gu Qianxian looked at the person in front of her, making her, who had lost both parents, feel the warmth of a long time ago. Mom, I'm fine. Maybe I just lay down and covered myself in sweat. Lu only thought that she didn't want them to worry, so she comforted and said, My dear, it's okay. Your father, Fenger and Huier have gone out to find food. I made you some wild vegetable congee. You can have some later. Gu Qianxian nodded honestly and looked at the big villain next to him. Lu Shi looked at the two people in front of her and suddenly understood something. Her eyes narrowed and she looked like I understood everything. Speaking of which, since you married into our family, you haven't had a good conversation with Zayer yet. Zayer said you did it for us before. Well, fortunately, we are all safe now. Zayer even came over to see if you have a fever just now. Gu Qianxian looked at Chu Juanza with suspicion. Did he just want to see if I had a fever? You're not trying to kill me. Chu Juanza's face remained expressionless, making it difficult to tell what was on his mind. He changed the topic and said, Dad and the others should be back soon. I'll go boil water. Lu Shi touched Gu Qianxian's hand and said, I made you a pot herb kanji. You'll have some later. You are a good boy, and we won't treat you unfairly. As long as we have a bite to eat, we will have a bite to eat. It seems that Lu Shi does not know the true face of the original owner. 
It is estimated that the major villain tried to justify the original owner in order to prevent her from worrying. Since this is the case, it has provided her with convenience. Now that she has grasped the opportunity and changed the outcome of the original owner, it is up to her to the final say. After thinking about the bright future, Gu Qianxian happily prepared to eat something. Just reality slapped her hard. The kanji brought by Lu Shi was really boiled with wild vegetables, but it was not kanji. It was just a few vegetable leaves added to the water, and even a little oil could not be seen. Gu Qianxian took the bowl with a stiff face, but was ultimately defeated by hunger. The reality is even worse than she imagined. Thinking about the tragic situation described in the book, Gu Qianxian was stunned and lost in thought. At five or six o'clock in modern times, Chu Dashan finally returned with two small ones, but empty-handed. Everyone's face was filled with heaviness. Chu Dashan looked at his wife's hopeful gaze and opened his mouth. In the end, he didn't say anything and could only shake his head with a bitter smile. He has no ability, as a man, he can't even feed his children and wife. The hope in Lu's eyes gradually faded away, but in the end, she didn't say anything. She just walked over and patted Chu Dashan's shoulder without asking anything. I've already prepared my meal, go eat it now, said gently the family gathered around a leggy table and finished dinner. While washing up, Chu Juanzi called Chu Qingfeng into the room. What happened when I went to my grandmother's house to borrow food today? Chu Qingfeng looked at his elder brother's serious face and a look of grievance appeared on his face. It's not my second aunt yet. As soon as my dad went, she said she came to play the autumn breeze again. And then my grandmother even sarcastically mocked my dad, saying that he was a white-eyed wolf and was deceived by his mother. After dividing the family, he no longer belonged to the same family. Chu Juanzi can understand the meaning of Chu Qingfeng's words. That family has prejudice against their mother, so it's definitely not a good thing to say. Chu Juanzi sneered and said, Now I know we've split up. Chu Qingfeng was quite resentful and said, Yes. Although our families were separated before, my grandmother and others always said that they would break bones and tendons, and come to our house every day to ask for things. If it weren't for them, our family might still have stored food now. End of this chapter Chapter 3 Starting the Koi System You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 3 Starting the Koi system Chu Juanzi and his companions did not avoid Gu Qianxian during their conversation, and even if they wanted to avoid it, they couldn't avoid it. The room was just so big. However, in order to respect Gu Qianxian's wishes, Lu Shi spoke up and refused to let her share a room with the big villain, so she could only grievance the big villain by making a living outside. This mother dot in dot law is still very good. Gu Qianxian thought so. Suddenly, a mechanical voice rang out in Gu Qianxian's mind. The Koi system has been activated, the exchange panel has been activated, and the Koi skills have been activated. Hmm. What sound? Gu Qianxian looked around in panic and found that the sound seemed to be only audible to him. If five grains of wheat are found, will they be collected or exchanged? A huge floating light panel appeared in front of me, with small frames on top and a large frame popping up in the middle, displaying a picture of wheat. Gu Qianxian looked at the high dot tech in front of him and felt almost ecstatic when he reflected it. Definitely a must that have golden finger for travel. Just wheat. The Chu family is so poor, where are the wheat from? After getting up and carefully examining it, I realized that there was a hole carved by a mouse behind the clothes cabinet. It should be that Brother Mouse had missed a few, and it was still outside the hole. Looking at the words, collect and exchange, appearing on the light board in front of me, I decisively clicked, collect. Sure enough, the wheat on the ground is gone. Then the scene in front of me turned around, and a picture similar to farming appeared on the light board. Isn't this a modern farming game? It's not what she thinks, is it? Gu Qianxian searched and indeed found a button on a backpack. 
clicking on it revealed that there was only one weed inside. So Gu Qianxian learned the steps of a small game and planted wheat in the field. It's just that there's a kettle displayed above, is it necessary to water it? But it hasn't moved, it seems that you need to collect it yourself. Gu Qianxian was very excited and wanted to prove her idea immediately. Quietly opening the door, I looked outside and saw that it was pitch black with a slight snoring sound. It seems that everyone is asleep. Gu Qianxian tiptoed past the position of the villain and arrived outside, finding the large water tank with a missing hole. Sure enough, the sound of machinery rang out again. Discovered water source, is it charged or exchanged? Collect. Most of the water in the tank disappeared in an instant. Then Gu Qianxian returned to the scene of farming and lit the kettle on it. The land did indeed become moist, and it showed that there were still five days left until collection. Gu Qianxian was overjoyed. It seems that this koi system can not only exchange things, but also farm, and the time is greatly shortened. It is really a great tool for cheating. Gu Qianxian looked at the other buttons on the light board again and found that there was also a koi skill. However, before she could figure out what it was for, a voice that scared Gu Qianxian came from behind. What are you doing here without sleeping at night? Chu Juanzi didn't sleep soundly tonight, and there were many things in his heart, so when Gu Qianxian came out, he had already noticed it. Thinking of the strange appearance of this woman during the day, he followed her out. He had originally wanted to see what she was up to, but only saw her staring blankly at a large vat. The expression on his face was indescribable, sometimes frowning and sometimes laughing. Did you go crazy? He interrupted her with a loud voice. Gu Qianxian smiled awkwardly, a little guilty. Can the villains also see the light board? But seeing his expression without any abnormality, it should be impossible to see it. Well, it's a bit hot at night and I can't sleep, Gu Qianxian said, doing a stretching motion and twisting his waist. Come out and move around. Chu Juanzi obviously didn't believe it, but there was no evidence to prove that she had a ghost just now. Then go back to bed early. If you don't sleep on your own and make noise, others won't be able to sleep either. After finishing speaking, he returned to the room. Gu Qianxian breathed a sigh of relief, patted his chest, and made two strokes towards the back of the villain. Humph, sooner or later I'll make you bow down and bow down to me. With golden fingers, Gu Qianxian saw hope for life again. End of this chapter Chapter 4 She wants to get rid of me. You are listening at novelfull.audio Chapter 4 She wants to get rid of me. In the morning, it was still clear water and wild vegetables, and the family gathered around the table with their feet lifted. Gu Qianxian became even more determined to hoard supplies. Dad, Mom, I'll go out later. I can also share some of the burden with my family in the future. Wait and see if there is anything you can collect outside, and then plant it in the system. Chu Qingfeng took a sip of the soup and said, Sister-in-law, do you want to go pick wild vegetables? There are no wild vegetables left on the nearby mountains, and they have all been picked by the villagers. Chu Dashin nodded and said, you can rest assured to take it with you at home. Although there is a temporary shortage of food at home, there is no reason for women to go out and work. Chu Dashin had already heard what Lu had said before and was deeply moved, so he quickly accepted Gu Qianxian's existence. It's okay, I'll just go out and take a look around, familiarize myself with the surrounding environment. Chu Juanzi was thinking on the side about the woman's unusual appearance last night, as well as the half tank of water that was missing in the tank this morning. Although I don't know what she's up to, she must be strange. Don't worry, parents. I'll go out with her. Chu Juanzi's indifferent voice rang out, and Gu Qianxian was stunned and quickly waved his hand. No need, I'll go by myself. Juanzi's body is weak, so let's stay at home and help his mother. Gu Qianxian chuckled. But he was secretly cursing in his heart. The big villain must have suspected her last night, 
and indeed he still wanted to kill her. If he followed her, how would he still collect materials and perform magic out of thin air? Lu looked at her usually cold son in surprise, as it was the first time she had seen Zayer so devoted to someone. She naturally enjoyed seeing it succeed. Okay, then Zayer will accompany you. It's been very chaotic outside recently, so Zayer needs to protect thousands of people. The adults all spoke up, and Gu Chan Chan had to comply. On the mountain, there were scattered people visible, each with no vitality and a face full of despair. A middle-aged woman sat on the field, looking at the barren land with a mournful expression and said, Oh my God, this is forcing us to die. We can't even grow the land. How can we survive without food? Woo-woo. Wiping away tears, she looked extremely pitiful. A few people greeted Chu Juanza when they met him, and Chu Juanza nodded expressionlessly. But Gu Chanchan can feel that his attitude towards others is different from his attitude towards himself. As far as I know, ordinary insects will not cause a large area of land to be unable to be planted. Even if there is a risk of loss, there is not a lack of food to eat. We have never seen those insects before, and even without them, the land today cannot grow anything. Chu Juanza also encountered for the first time that the land could not grow anything and no matter how he handled it, it could not sprout. Is it really heaven's punishment for the disaster that came down? Chu Juanza's eyes flickered slightly. Gu Chanchan doesn't care what the big villain is thinking, now she only cares about how to get rid of him. Gu Chanchan looked around with a flash of spiritual light. With a smile on his face, he said to Chu Juanza, there are people in areas with low terrain. Even if there are wild vegetables, they will definitely be picked long ago. Why don't we go to other places to take a look? Chu Juanza had something in his heart, so he didn't think too much. So the two of them walked around the mountain one circle after another. Chu Juanza's breath was already chaotic and upon closer inspection, sweat beads had already sprouted from his forehead, his face turning pale. Now he has realized that this woman wants to get rid of him. Gu Chanchan looked at Chu Juanza with a guilty heart, lacking confidence and speaking confidently, Look, I said I won't let you follow me. Then you can rest here and I'll go see elsewhere. After speaking, disregarding the shouting of the man behind him, he quickly ran away. End of this chapter Chapter 5 Found Food You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 5 Found Food Leaving Aside the Eye. Catching Person, Gu Chanchan suddenly felt that the air around him had become much fresher. What's important now is to find supplies. Find food. But just after wandering around with the big villain, I did find that all the wild vegetables around me have been picked. What should we do? I won't have to go back empty handed today. Gu Chanchan opened the system and took a look at the wheat planted yesterday. It had already sprouted and was watered again. This is her confidence, Gu Chanchan patted her face and regained her composure. Although the mountain is already empty and the fern that people often eat is gone, after all, Gu Chanchan is from modern times and knows much more wild vegetables than ancient people. So when he found a piece of shepherd's purse, Gu Chanchan was extremely happy and burst into tears. It seems that the people here really only know ferns, Gu Chanchan muttered to himself. In addition to shepherd's purse, Gu Chanchan also found some folded ear roots and dandelions. Dandelion is very common in modern times, but not many people know it can be eaten. However, Gu Chanchan usually uses it to soak water, which can perfectly replace tea. Gu Chanchan really likes this thing called Jair General its taste is very strange, some people like it very much, and some people don't like it very much, just like coriander. Gu Chanchan opened the system and opened the exchange page, which showed that dandelion can be exchanged for 5-1, shepherd's purse can be exchanged for 21, and folded ear root can be exchanged for 31. Do you make money by folding your ears like this? I've done a bit less this time, but I'll do more next time. Finally, Gu Chanchan saved some of these three items and planted them in the system. 
He sold all the remaining folding earbuds and earned twenty-five won. Then he put the dandelion and shepherd's purse in the basket, ready to go back and find the big villain. I arrived at the place where I had left the big villain before, but I couldn't see his figure. Maybe I went back by myself. Gu Qianxian didn't think much, after all, the big villain is ultimately the big villain. How could she honestly wait for her? Gu Qianxian gave a self-deprecating smile, completely indifferent, and hummed a small tune intending to descend the mountain. Chu Juanzi lay on the ground, looking at Gu Qianxian who had not even searched, his head twitching in anger. Is this woman a fool? I don't know if she's looking down to the side. Today, this woman took him around several times specifically to get rid of him, which led to a relapse of his old illness. She suddenly didn't stop and rolled behind a stone. Unable to resist, Chu Juanzi struggled to grab a stone and threw it towards the roadside. Gu Qianxian was startled by the sudden appearance of the stone and followed him to the side, saying, Oh my, you big villain. Chu Juanzi's face turned pale and he lay motionless on the ground. It would be even better if he ignored those eyes that almost spewed fire. Gu Qianxian squatted down with embarrassment and said, Sorry, I didn't see you. How are you? Can you still stand up? Chu Juanzi gritted his teeth and said, Do you think I'm okay like this? Gu Qianxian awkwardly smiled and put down his hand, helping Chu Juanzi up and letting him sit on the ground to rest for a while. Watching the antagonist's uncomfortable expression with his eyes closed, Gu Qianxian felt quite pitiful in his heart. However, his symptoms are somewhat similar to hypoglycemia. After thinking about it, I reluctantly exchanged the ten when I just exchanged for a piece of candy. It's so expensive. Gu Qianxian pretended to take it out of his clothes and quickly fed it into the mouth of the big villain. Chu Juanzi frowned and instinctively wanted to spit out what this woman had given him to eat. Gu Qianxian quickly covered his mouth and explained, This is my last piece of candy. It should be my mother who felt guilty for selling me and gave it to me. Don't spit it out. Chu Juanzi didn't pretend to look at Gu Qianxian's heartbroken expression. The faint sweetness in his mouth made him feel a little better. Gu Qianxian pursed his lips. He was also suffering from malnutrition since childhood and had never eaten anything good. Is hypoglycemia abnormal? End of this chapter Chapter 6 Deshaun and he haven't come back yet. You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 6 Deshaun and he haven't come back yet the two of them rested for a long time before slowly descending the mountain. During this period, Chu Juanzi used Gu Qianxian to bring him out, causing a relapse of his old illness. She had to take him down as an excuse, making Gu Qianxian Chu Juanzi's crutch. The two of them returned to the village and as they were about to return home, they saw Lu standing outside the door, looking up at them eagerly. Gu Qianxian waved his hand happily, indicating that they had returned. Chu Juanzi gave Gu Qianxian several meaningful glances. Lu anxiously stood still, looking at the two people greeting in front of her, tears streaming down her eyes with excitement. Chan Chan, Zaire, your father hasn't returned with his two children yet. Chu Juanzi suddenly looked solemn and said, when did they leave? Not long after you left, they said they couldn't let the children worry about food, and they also had to work hard, so they went out together. Chu Juanzi remained silent for a while before comforting Lu, saying, it's okay. It should have been delayed by something. Gu and I, Qian Qianbu just came back, so we found a lot of food. Really? Lu was obviously a bit skeptical, but he was still sent back to his house by Chu Juanzi. Gu Qianxian was listening beside him, and suddenly remembered that although the original protagonist in the book had died, someone had sold the sister of the big villain before, so when Chu Dashen went out with his two children, someone happened to find an opportunity. And what the original owner didn't know was that the buyer happened to be a bandit on the mountain, so he looked at both children and wanted to take them away. Chu Dashen broke his legs to protect them. Despite this, his younger sister Chu Jiehui was gang-raped to death, 
while his younger brother Chu Qingfeng was nowhere to be found. Chu Juanzi knew the truth and wished he could dig up the female lead and whip her body directly. It was also the main reason why Chu Juanzi later went up the mountain to become a bandit and dominate alone, ultimately rising up to power. Why did this happen even though she had already disrupted the plot when she arrived? Gu Qianqian's face turned pale in an instant. If it were really like this, she wouldn't have died now, and she probably would have died tragically later, not to mention being blessed by the big villain. After leaving the room, Chu Juanzi held Gu Qianqian's hand with his back and stared at her face, trying to see something from it. Is this matter related to you? No no, of course it had nothing to do with her. This was the original owner's pot, but when she was asked to carry it, Gu Qianqian felt like crying without tears. It's best if it's not related to you. Chu Juanzi threatened. Thinking of the strange appearance of this woman last night, as well as the things that happened to her before, Chu Juanzi couldn't help but tremble. Glancing fiercely at Gu Qianqian, he turned his head and left. Gu Qianqian was already feeling guilty, and now he dared not say anything, so he could only follow suit. On the way, a kind dot hearted lady said she had seen them not long ago. The little girl seemed to be sick and was carried by Chu Dashin to her grandmother's house. So the two of them rushed to the Wang family's house. Wang was holding a fan at the door, muttering and begging God to give them food. Looking at the two people walking towards me, I looked at them with disdain, which was evident in my words. What are you doing here again? There's nothing left at home. Your father has already been here just now, and it's not like I said. They are all filial and filial to their parents. When your family is in good condition, they ask us for food instead. You're really a bad-looking wolf. It's better to die than to live and save food. Gu Qianqian listened to Wang's chattering conversation and, recalling what Feng Er had said before, also witnessed the top-dot-notch relatives in the book. End of this chapter Chapter 7 Gu Qianqian Run quickly. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 7 Gu Qianqian. Run quickly in the book, the grandmother of the major villain, also known as the Wang family, looks down upon her eldest son Chu Dashin and his family very much. She often oppresses them and gives them everything good at home. Finally, the division proposed by the major antagonist design. Even if they split up, this person often goes back to play the autumn breeze to raise her youngest son's child. The final result can be imagined to be extremely tragic, starving to death by the big villain. The pain of having food in front of us but not being able to eat it is truly a villain, and the means of tormenting people are also so powerful. Chu Juanzi interrupted Wang's words, How long have my father and his companions been away? You little slut, can't you distinguish between high and low? If you dare to interrupt me, it's okay to be with that slut. I. Enough. Shut up. I respect you as an elder, don't take any further action. Chu Juanzi's eyes were terrifyingly red, and the surrounding air pressure was extremely low. Thinking that his father and his companions might encounter something unexpected, he couldn't control himself and wished to kill everyone. The first time Wang saw this grandson getting angry at her, she didn't react for a moment. It wasn't until both of them left that she cursed loudly. Gu Qianqian was so frightened that she dared not make a sound. She didn't expect that even though the villain was sick, he could walk so fast. She almost couldn't catch up with him. Gu Qianqian begged in his heart, but don't let anything happen. Fortunately, the heavens were inclined towards Gu Qianqian, and both of them heard a cry coming from afar. It's Chu Jiehui's. Chu Juanzi's eyes parted as he saw a man lying on Huier's body, laughing and tearing at her clothes. This girl really tastes good, ha ha ha, stop struggling. There were two people next to him cheering, and Chu Dashin was forcefully pressed to the ground. Watching his daughter being bullied but powerless, he wished he could kill himself. Chu Qingfeng was grabbed by someone's collar and couldn't move, crying and shouting you animals. 
let go of my sister. Gu Qianqian only saw a silhouette flash in front of him. Chu Juanza rushed forward and knocked down the man lying on Huier's body. The two people next to him quickly approached and surrounded him. The person on the ground covered their bleeding mouth and angrily shouted, Kill him for me. Dare to hit me, you've eaten the courage of ambition leopard. Chu Juanza was just so brave and was also dominated by anger. His body was already weak, but now he has exhausted his strength and can only be passively beaten. Chu Juanza curled up on the ground holding Huier, gritting his teeth and enduring their punches and kicks. Gu Qianqian stood still, only seeing the crimson eyes of the main villain. Oh no, the big villain must have hated her. No, she was saved. But with her alone strength, how can she defeat three people? Suddenly flashed through my mind the Koi skill from the previous system, which I had never used before. Gu Qianqian hurriedly opened it and waited for a while. Nothing happened. Gu Qianqian was studying, and the man who was beaten over there noticed her. Because the original owner had previously made a deal with him around his face, he didn't know Gu Qianqian. Oh, there's another girl here, she looks quite agile. Come and accompany me. The man chuckled lewdly as he walked towards Gu Qianqian. Chu Juanza, who had been beaten, looked at Gu Qianqian's stunned expression and wished he could get up and ask her what she was doing. Gu Qianqian, run quickly. Run back and move the rescue troops, maybe they can still be saved. Gu Qianqian regained his senses and saw that the man was already within reach. Since the system doesn't work, it can only save itself. Accompanying you. Am I accompanying your mother? Gu Qianqian finished speaking and picked up the stone on the ground to prepare for a fight with the man. At least modern people have also learned Taekwondo. At first glance, the man ignited his abnormal beastly desire and laughed heartily with the other two people. Chu Dashin felt extremely hopeless. Blame him for being useless. Ah, screams rang out. Gu Qianqian is puzzled, haven't I started yet? That man just collapsed. End of this chapter. Chapter 8 Taking advantage of a person's illness to take their life. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 8 Taking advantage of a person's illness to take their life. I saw the man lying down in a strange position, his mouth twitching in pain. Who? Who plotted against me? Gu Qianqian saw clearly from the front, wasn't it because he tripped himself? But she wouldn't be foolish enough to tell him. Take advantage of someone's illness and take their life. Gu Qianqian gritted his teeth and gave a loud bang to his head. The man looked at her incredulously, his eyes rolled over and he fainted. The other few people were furious when they saw their partner fall down. Grandma, give her face. Brothers, give this girl some color to see. Gu Qianqian secretly said, it's broken. I'm outnumbered. What should I do? Ah. With a scream, a dramatic scene appeared. Those few people were like bowling balls, falling one after another, but when they tried to get up, they couldn't get up. A person seemed to have thought of something and looked up at Gu Qianqian in horror, saying, did you do it? Gu Qianqian is also puzzled, but of course he cannot express it. Pretending to say, it's not me, it's God. He can't bear to see these bad things you've done and is punishing you. Then I'll help him. Then, three times, five times, and two times, everyone was knocked unconscious in one go. Lying on the ground, Chu Dashen and Chu Qingfeng were stunned and stunned. Chu Juanza felt a sigh of relief when he saw that she was fine. Gu Qianqian quickly ran over and helped up Chu Dashen. Chu Qingfeng also anxiously asked, How is your sister? Chu Juanza's face remained expressionless, but upon closer inspection, there was a raging anger in his eyes as he tightly embraced Chu Jiehui, who was sobbing. Looking at Gu Qianqian, he said, Do you still have the food you gave me this morning? Gu Qianqian suddenly realized that with the same symptoms as his siblings, he gritted his teeth and changed to sugar. 
Yes. Feed Chu Jiehui for a while before stopping crying. Chu Dashen wanted to touch his daughter, feeling extremely heartbroken, but Chu Jiehui hesitated and was extremely afraid when he reached out his hand. Gu Chanchan didn't have a good taste watching from the side. How come, Hui Er may have been scared. Let's take her home first. Everyone agrees. Gu Chanchan gently took Chu Jiehui from Chu Juan's arms, with small scars on her body and bruises on the corners of her mouth. It's okay, Hui Er is great. Those people were all defeated by my brother. Sister will take you home. Chu Juanzi silently looked at Gu Chanchan, who saved them and whispered, Thank you. Gu Chanchan trembled with fear. Brother, if you knew that these people were all brought by me, you wouldn't thank me. Upon arriving home, as expected by Gu Chanchan, Lu Shi burst into tears at the sight of Yi San. In the end, Chu Juanzi persuaded her. Chu Jiehui was frightened and had a fever that night but her family didn't have the money to hire a doctor. The family gathered around the table, and as expected, Lu was shedding tears again. Gu Chanchan sighed helplessly as he only had five cents left after buying two pieces of candy with the money he had made before. However, to Gu Chanchan's surprise, he encountered two wild chickens on his way back. Recalling the scene at that time, Gu Chanchan still felt very mysterious. The two chickens didn't make a sound and quietly came to her side, startling Gu Chanchan. Taking advantage of them walking ahead and not paying attention, they suddenly received the information in the system. I was originally thinking of having a big meal, but it seems like I can't make it again. The original owner is such a scammer. It seems that the koi skill is the same as its name, and once used, it will become very lucky. End of this chapter Chapter 9 Barking Like a Dog You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 9 Barking Like a Dog In the end, Gu Chanchan exchanged two chickens for 101, took out 31 to invite the doctor, and also took a few pills with 31. The whole family's gaze at her suddenly changed. Chien Chien, you are really the lucky star of our family. You even took out the silver that your parents gave you. If Sayer doesn't treat you well in the future, I will definitely break his leg. Chu Dashen nodded in agreement. Chu Chengfeng's gaze at Gu Qianxian had become very admiring, to the point where only Gu Qianxian remained. The next day, Gu Qianxian got up early and greeted Chu Juanzi, who was laying a floor outside. Entered the kitchen in the eyes of the other person, who looked extremely strange. The shepherd's purse I picked yesterday is still there. Gu Chanchan spent five won to buy some salt in the system and put it inside. Finally, it has a bit of flavor. I spent another ten won to buy a piece of candy and gave it to the girl Huier. There's really no food left at home, Lu's voice came from outside. Fuck you guys, yesterday everyone saw your family hiring a doctor in the middle of the night. You still have money left to hire a doctor this year. It seems like you were lying to your mother before. I don't care. Anyway, my mother was angry with your family yesterday, and you must also hire a doctor for her. Gu Chanchan walked out with a shovel and saw a person with a rag wrapped around their head, their eyes twirling with a sharp and sarcastic expression. Chu Qingfeng came to Gu Chanchan's side and bit her ear, saying, This is Auntie who lives with our grandmother. When I was a child, I often gave my cousin and my sister's meals. Gu Chanchan understood clearly that the autumn breeze had arrived. Chu Dashan stood in front of Lu Shi and said, We have already separated our families. We don't need you to take care of anything in my family. Yesterday, Hui Er had already spent all the money at home with the doctor, and there is no more. Li Shi obviously didn't believe it and was about to squeeze into the room with her chubby body. Is it really there? I have to go in and see. If you don't take care of our mother, you will get retribution. Yesterday, Hui Er almost broke her body. As soon as the words fell, Gu Qianqian suddenly felt uneasy. Quickly swung the shovel in his hand and with a whoosh, it plunged into the wall next to Li. 
a silence fell Chu Juan's as original anger was also extinguished. Li was so scared that she screamed loudly, killed. Killed. Gu Qianqian let out a sigh of relief in her heart. She couldn't let go of this opportunity to brush her presence and favor. Although she managed to get by yesterday, if the big villain were to come to her senses, she wouldn't be able to bear it. Oh, it turns out to be anti. I'm really sorry, your voice is too loud, like a dog barking. It really scared me and made my hands tremble uncontrollably. Don't take it for granted. Gu Qianxian walked out with a smile, pulled out the shovel from the wall, and looked at the person in front of him with a strange expression. Are you the lucky girl you bought? Are you really unlucky? Li Shi touched her heart, beating wildly, and glared angrily at Gu Qianxian. Gu Qianxian remained noncommittal. Yeah, not only that, but the money for treating the doctor is also for me, this happy girl. I just heard someone asking for my things. What's yours? Humph, since you're Zayer's wife, we should filial piety to his aunt and his milk together. Bring it. Looking at the person in front of him who was bossing around, Gu Qianqian was almost laughing to death. My little sister suffered this disaster yesterday. Everyone knows they've been looking for you before, but if you and Wang take them in for a while, this won't happen. How dare you lick your face and come over to ask for something. I can suspect that you planned everything. Gu Qianqian asked confidently, shaking the pot quickly. You. You're so unreasonable. We've all split up, can't we still have your grandmother raise you white-eyed wolves for a lifetime? Bah. No way. Gu Qianqian rolled his eyes and said, You know we've split up, so what are you doing here? You. Li wanted to argue a few more words, but was interrupted by Chu Juanza. Tell you and the people behind you not to try to suck blood again, and if I hear any negative comments about my sister in the future, it will be on your end. End of this chapter. Can you show me the seeds in chapter 10? You are listening at novelfull.audio. Can you show me the seeds in chapter 10 since the last time the Li family came to cause trouble, Gu Qianqian's position at home has been elevated again, at least in the hearts of the two children of the Lu family and Chu Dashan. Early in the morning, Gu Qianqian excitedly ran several laps in the yard, nicknamed exercising, but in fact, the wheat in the system can be harvested today. How happy it is to have wheat after eating clear water vegetable soup for over a week. You can grind flour, and with flour, you have more food to eat. Chu Qingfeng squatted beside him, staring at his sister dot in dot law for the whole morning. Chu Jiehui also held her cheeks and watched from the side. Sister-in-law, aren't you tired from running every day when you wake up? It's not tiring. Running can exercise the body, and Feng Air and Hui Air can also come together. Upon hearing this, Chu Jiehui's eyes lit up and she couldn't wait to ask, am I okay too? But I feel dizzy every few steps I take. Gu Qianqian was taken aback for a moment. In fact, she also understood that the big villain and his sister were not suffering from a terminal illness or a serious illness, just low blood sugar and malnutrition. Therefore, after prolonged activity, they would feel unwell and powerless. But now there's nothing to eat, how can we supplement our nutrition? Gu Qianqian approached and looked at Chu Jiehui very seriously, saying, Huier, do you believe in your sister? In law? One day, I will let you jump and run like everyone else, and do whatever you want. Chu Jiehui's eyes were bright and she nodded heavily, believing in her sister. In law. Gu Qianqian pondered for a moment, waiting for the days to improve and improve his meals. He could provide them with a set of modern fitness equipment, and his body was the capital of the revolution. As soon as I turned around, I saw the big villain staring at her. What? What? She didn't say anything that shouldn't have been said earlier. Chu Juanza silently moved his eyes away. The more he thought about the scene that day, the more strange it became. Why did three or four people stumble in a row, still sweating profusely stronger than her? And. 
wasn't these people what she found. However, it seems that there is no ill intentions at the moment. Gu Qianxian didn't know that he had already wandered around the edge of death and ran back to the house happily, closing the door. Open the koi system, and the koi skill in the lower right corner is still silent. It was only then that I found out that the usage time of this skill is only 15 minutes, and if I use it, I will be silent for 7 days. On the planting page, if there is a glove shape on top of the wheat, it means it can be harvested. A total of 5 seeds were planted, and 100 were harvested, which is actually 20.5 times. At this speed, we can harvest about 2 kilograms of wheat next time. By the same token, wheat freedom can be achieved in less than 2 weeks. Gu Qianqian left the system with satisfaction. But this time she took out a few grains of wheat and wanted to try it out. Is it really impossible to grow things on the land here? Suddenly, there was a commotion outside. It was Chu Dashan and a few people from the village. Village chief, what do they mean by this? Even though they know that nothing grows in the land, they still want us to farm and pay taxes. Is this forcing us to death? Yeah, the people above enjoy it every day, and the mistakes we make have to be borne by us ordinary people. Poor my grandson, he hasn't had a good meal for several months. If you want to farm, you also need seeds. What kind of rotten thing is there on top? It's all infested with insects. The village head is an old man in his fifties, with dark skin and wrinkles that do not match his age, which is worrying. Faced with the questions from his fellow villagers, he couldn't answer them either. Gu Qianqian walked over and said, What's wrong with this? Hey, the authorities have issued an order to plant food and pay taxes in every village. We don't have anything to eat anymore. We eat bark and weeds every day. They don't treat the people like humans. Unconsciously, Gu Qianqian looked at the villain and saw him leaning against the window, unsure of what he was thinking. Inexplicably, Gu Qianqian felt a chill behind his back. Isn't this emperor forcing the big villain to rebel? This is not acceptable. Wait until that day when the big villain will kill me first. Suddenly shaking his head, he said urgently, Can you show me these seeds? End of this chapter